Welcome to the Ikiimu Patcher Quick Tutorial. Ikiimu Patcher is a program that was written to verify and patch your EverQuest clients to be up to date with whatever the server admin wants. In order to get started with Ikiimu Patcher, you want to go to the fork button and select the owner of your project, likely just your username and the repository name, and hit Create Fork. Doing so will create a fork similarly to this. Forks are noted by this description up top where it says forked from Zachary Ikimi Patcher. And once you're in this status, you have to do a couple configuration options. The first step is to go into Settings, Secrets and Variables, Actions, Variables, and click on New Repository Variable. There are two repository variables that are recommended to be set. The first is in all caps, Server Name, with the value of what the title of your EverQuest patcher should be. And in this case, we're going to call it EverQuest Party. And then we'll hit Add Variable. And you can see that the repository variable is now there. We're going to add another variable. This one is optional, which is going to be called file name. And this is what the actual patcher name is going to become instead of everquest patcher.exe. So in our case, we're going to go EQ party, just like that. No exe on the ending. Hit add variable. And now that those two variables are set, the next section you'd like to go to is actions general and scroll down and verify that in workflow permissions, you have read and write permissions. If this value is not set, then the releases will not automatically be triggered whenever a new commit is occurred. You'll notice that currently this repository has this branch is one commit behind master. It is recommended for security purposes and features to update your fork with whatever is in the latest tip of Zachary Master. To do so, you can actually go to code and open with GitHub Desktop. If you don't have GitHub Desktop installed, you'll see there's a notification here that you can go ahead and download it. And once GitHub Desktop opens with that link, you'll get a location similar to this. In my case, there's an error that the folder already exists. And that is because I want it like that. So you'll have a local path where the file will get cloned to, and you'll have the repository URL. Looks good. Hit clone. And it'll ask you, how do you want to make these changes? You can go ahead and say, for my own purposes. That's fine. Go ahead and hit continue. Next, you're going to want to go ahead and hit fetch origin. That's going to go ahead and pull down the latest of the upstream. We're going to go ahead and click on current master. And this is how you're actually going to do updates. So if you click on current branch, you can say, choose a branch to merge into master. And you'll see the option for upstream master. And you can see this description here says, this will merge one commit from upstream master into master. You can go ahead and hit create merge commit. And then it's going to ask you if you want to push to origin. Let's go ahead and do that. You go back to Ikiyumu Patcher and you refresh the GitHub repo. You should see the CICD trigger, but of course it hasn't because we haven't gone to actions yet. Inside of actions, you're going to see this notification that workflows aren't being run on this forked repository. Go ahead and enable them. And what that's going to do is the next time a commit occurs on your repo, it will automatically trigger a CICD and build the releases for you. We're going to go ahead and go back into GitHub Desktop. And we're going to hit this Show and Explorer option. And inside of Show and Explorer, you're going to see an ROF folder. This is a prepared directory for all of your patches that you might want to your players. I actually have one for EverQuest Party already prepared over here. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. And we can go ahead and just copy these over and replace the EQ host that I had set there. And now if we go back to GitHub Desktop, you'll notice all of these changes were added in here. See down here it says summary required. We're just going to say add patch files. You can put whatever you like. This is for your personal tracking. And we're going to go ahead and hit commit to master. Push to origin. Refresh the page. You'll see that your latest commit is messaged here as well as a little yellow dot. And you can see that there's a queued job in order to make a build and release of the binary 
that we just prepared. You click on it, you can actually see the process. And you can actually see here in the restore step, this is optional, a server name, which is actually what we provided through the variables, and the file name, which is also provided by the variables. These other variables are automatically set to whatever they should be in order to work from the repository. These are editable, so in cases where you may want to self-host the patches, you can change the file list URL and or the storage URL. You cannot upload files larger than 100 megabytes. Uh, that is a limitation enforced by GitHub. Let's go ahead and go back to Ikimu Patcher. We can see that there is a new release snapshotted here on the right-hand side. If we click on this, here is the patch. And the only file you actually care about is the eqparty.exe, or whatever you call your file name. So this is the bare minimum needed in order to run the patcher. If we go ahead and run this, you'll see that a file list file gets generated and the config file gets generated, and it will detect that there's a patch available. So we're gonna go ahead and hit patch, and as you see, it is downloading all the files that we put in the RF directory.